Сайрам to every one of you. Всем сайрам. In my, how many of you attended in the month of February my satsangs? Кто присутствовал на сатсанге в феврале? Поднимите, пожалуйста. Last time I disappointed many of the devotees. А в прошлый раз я полагаю, я разочаровал многих. My son said that you are talking about business strategy rather than spirituality. Мой сын мне сказал, что беседа шла больше о бизнесе и деловых отношениях, а духовность как-то осталась в тени. The reason is that in this modern world. Everyone are very much passionate to achieve many things in their life. Besides, they should also spare some time for the spirituality. Today, if you consider Almost 95% of the population in the entire world is suffering with stress. What could be the reason? Because they are very much passionate and trying to achieve everything and they are competing with everyone. Так как они очень устремлены на достижение своих целей, очень страстны, так сказать, и при этом еще соревнуются, сравнивают себя с другими. One should not compete with other persons. Не следует сравнивать и соревноваться, сравнивать себя с другими и соревноваться с ними. One should compete with self. Нужно соревноваться, так сказать, в кавычках, с самим собой, сравнивать себя с самим собой. When you compete with self, you can improve better. Когда мы себя с самим себя сравниваем, то мы растем. When you compete with your peers, only you will have insecurity in you. Когда же мы сравниваем себя со своими близкими, то это порождает у нас чувство неудовлетворенности, какой-то тревожности. Because everyone are destined in this world. Потому что на самом деле судьба каждого предопределена. For something to achieve. So then, why you have to compete? Поэтому зачем соревноваться? Now, I'm not going to talk about the stress management. Я сейчас не буду говорить о управлении стрессом. Today I'm going to deliver the greatest knowledge. Сегодня я хочу поделиться великим знанием which will clear all your doubts. Then your lingering mind will never crave for any materialistic life. Definitely you will carry on your job as a responsibility for the sustenance of life. But not with a passion to achieve something great. So this chapter, what I am going to speak, is revealed in Atharva Veda. As well as in Sama Veda. And regarding this, it has been described in Chandogya Upanishad. There was a sage or rishi called Chandogya. Upanishad means what? Upa, the Sanskrit term Upa means the near, the close part. Nishi, the vision. What you perceive very closely. 
То есть то, на что мы смотрим очень близко, расположенное рядом. What you comprehend. То, что вы понимаете. What you understand. То, что вы поним... воспринимаете. That has been named as Upanishad. Это и называется Upanishad, то, что рядом. Hence, the Chandogya, Sage Chandogya, whatever he perceived in this cosmos, то, что он воспринял и увидел в этом космосе, he has revealed он победил the quint essence and the purpose of life. И раскрыл цель жизни. <coughs> and in that Upanishad, Chandogya Upanishad, there are various vidyas, that is 32 maha vidyas are there. Means vidyas means the knowledge. 32 kinds of knowledge is there. И в этой Чандоги Упанишат есть 32 раздела, которые называются видья. То есть, так сказать, 32 вида знания. So all these 32 types of knowledges are so valid. And when you evaluate its impact over your life, you will really feel this. Now, here we all are present. Next to me there is an empty chair. Correct? Why this chair is? How many of you know? Yes. Yes. So many of you are not aware. Some of us or major of you who knows the picture here. Многие из вас знают, здесь вот на картинке. Yes, saintly incarnation. Это in a saffron robe. Святая инкарнация в оранжевой одежде. He been addressed as Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. К нему обращается Бхагаван Sri Satya Sai Baba. Some people believe him as a god man. Кто-то считает его богом. Some people believe him as a man of miracles. Кто-то его считает человеком чудес. And some feel he is not a true God. Кто-то думает, что он не настоящий Бог. And person like me. И человек такой человек, как я. Confidently say, the God incarnated in this world. Что Бог воплотился именно в теле Сатиса. Before I reveal about the Chandogya Upanishad, прежде чем я начну рассказывать о Чандогье Упанишад, and specifically one part of the Knowledge, one chapter of the knowledge. Let me give you some kind of hint. What we believe about the energy is existing. Energy, energy is so. We believe that energy is existing. Мы все полагаем, что существует энергия. Is pervaded everywhere in the cosmos. Without any space and time. How many of you believe this? The reason is everyone has to believe. For instance, to supply electricity light for this auditorium. Например, чтобы в этом в этом аудитории был свет. And other part of this building and other buildings. А также освещение во всех остальных зданиях. Outside there is a big transformer, electrical transformer. Где-то за пределами этого здания находится большой трансформатор. Which supplies this energy? Который поставляет эту энергию. To this entire building. На все это здание. And it supplies according to the space and the capacity of the building. И этот трансформатор снабжает ровно столько энергии, сколько необходимо. Now, this is a small 
light this and one? that one is a big light. Is this in both the lights the energy is the same. Do you agree? Whichever you touch, you will feel correct. So it means what? It is a microcosm, small Microcosmic energy. And macrocosmic energy. For this auditory. If you go outside and see the big transformer, comparing to that microcosm, that will be called as microcosmic trans transformer energy. But whatever we see, perceive the different types of energies, maybe from the microcosm to macrocosm, the power and wave of energy is one and the same. Correct. So like that, we see different people here. Okay. All of you are not blood related. Most of you are not blood related. Okay. Some of you are short, some of you are height, some of you are bulky, some of you are thin. The nature differs so many things. Person to person. The thought varies. Everything is there. Still. One thing is true. In all of us, the only one energy is present, which is called spirit. Is it right or not? Agree? So, Satya Sai Baba is one such energy. He need not to be present physically. He is present in an omnipresent form. When we believe about the microcosmic energy and macrocosmic energy, which is inherent invisible energy, when it has no physical existence, but when some physical form has been given, assigned to that, like light forms, it functions in a similar way. So, when body is there, the energy, you can feel it. When there is no body or form, you can't feel it. You can't see it. But you have to realize it. So, who believes, whether they realized or not, who believes they see the God here? So, God bless you.